Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to the Bookish Knitter. So this is not the Monday video that I promised you. Um, I had said that I was going to do a video on the differences between the intrigue line and the romantic suspense line. I really wanted to do that before the end of March Mystery Madness, but we're pretty much almost at the end of it anyway at this point. So um, not that I didn't want to do it, I really do, but right now it is 1021 in the morning. And it's Monday. I am filming this Monday morning. Um, I did not get anything else filmed yesterday other than my weekly reading update. And I am on my way home from the hospital this morning. I just left McDonald's. <laughs> I needed a coffee. Priorities, my friends. Anyway, I was there. No big deal. I was just there for an appointment this morning. Um, and now I'm on my way home to work from home because if I'd gone to the office, I would have been at the office like an hour and a half before my, my shift started, if you will. And I really didn't feel like sitting around the office for an hour and a half, so I decided to come home and spend the day working from home. So, I could have probably filmed the intrigue romantic suspense video sometime today, but Mondays generally are my busy days, so I didn't want to do that. But I thought this would be a fun little um, car vlog chat this morning. Uh, I wanted to wait till I got out of the city before I turn on the camera because traffic is ridiculous downtown and I didn't want to deal with that. So anyway, um, apologies if I'm obviously not looking at the camera for obvious reasons. <laughs> there are other cars on the road. So the, the video that I, or the, what I wanted to chat with you guys about, it's stuff that I've chatted with you guys about before in various little videos. But last night um, I was watching some booktube and Ollie over at Criminali put out a video about reading slower. And this is something that I have been talking about for a while. It's what I talked about, like, you know, one of my goals, if you will, for 2023. And, you know, so I thought that I would throw my own two cents in the ring. And, um, you know, like, I find it a very interesting topic, especially in the realm of booktube. And anything book influencer related, whether it be book talk or bookstagram or, you know, if you just write reviews for whatever. So essentially, if I think back to my pre-booktube days, I read what I considered to be normally, right? Like I'd read a book or two a week. That was pretty standard, probably more towards the realm of about a book a week. And then I joined booktube and you do feel this pressure to try and keep up with the Joneses for lack of a better term. And, you know, you feel like you've got to read a whole bunch in order to keep up with everybody else. And, you know, my, it, my reading slowly started to increase for two reasons. One reason was because, and it's pressure that we put on ourselves as book influencers or, you know, people who watch booktuber or, or, or do videos as well, that, you know, we feel like we have to keep up. But in reality, guys, you don't. You know, like I have heard from so many of you when I've had a week where I've only read one book, you're like, hey, I would tune into your videos, like your weekly updates just for one book. And that's fine. And that's great. But, you know, you still feel this undue pressure to read, um, you know, a whole bunch of books in order to keep up with some people or to keep up with like the masses, if you will. And I know there's been talk around and I'm not going to touch on the subject of are people actually reading these things or are they saying they're reading them? I don't want to go there. That's not what this video is about. Um, but yet my, I want to touch on it just ever so slightly because you see this quite a bit actually in the romance community that a lot of romance book to no, no, see, I'm generalizing. I can't say that. There are some romance booktubers who read a ton, or just booktubers in general, who read a ton of books. And it's almost like, really? Like, have you really? Because the thing to me is, is that if, now everybody's different, and Ollie in his videos, I'm jumping all over the place, sorry guys, Ollie in his videos stated that he generally reads quickly. And I do too, to an extent. And, you know, th that's something that naturally, the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? Like in terms of being able to read faster and comprehend faster. But I know for a fact that there are some people on BookTube who, um, what are you doing? Anyway, who, um, oh, there's a doggy in the car in front of me. And he's got his head out the window. Anyway, um, he's a cutie, um, that read or listen to audiobooks, like pre predominantly listen to audiobooks, and that's fine. I'm not, I'm not slighting audiobooks. That's not my point. But they will listen to them at like four times speed just to get through them. Or they will have, you know, 
Alexa, sorry for anyone who had their, their device go off on them in that one, A, read their books to them at a much, much, much faster speed. Now, there are a lot of friends of mine who do have A, read them, and when I say A, I mean, you know what I mean. I don't want to say it again and have devices go off for people. They have A, read their books to them, read their Kindle books to them, which is fine, and I think that's great because it allows you to kind of do other things while you're reading. You know, you can be doing crafting or you can be doing whatever, and that's great, especially because audiobooks can be pricey, so, you know, yada, yada, yada. But when you're purposely using them just to increase the speed so you can get through books, that's where I see there being a problem. And I just feel like it's disingenuous. Like, the thing is, is that who are you, who, uh, what are you trying to prove to anybody, right? Like, okay, you want to be the person who um, reads the most books in a year? Like, sorry, Steve Donahue has that title hands down. And the man does not listen to audiobooks. <laughs> he doesn't let anything read to him. But that is his job. That's what he does. And talk about being a naturally fast reader. He's come on to my live shows a couple times, my live reading sprints, and, you know, like, we'll do a 20-minute sprint, and he's like, yeah, I finished the Lord of the Rings trilogy, like, started and finished. And he might be joking, but there's a grain of truth to that one. Like, that man can read very quickly. He doesn't sleep as much as the rest of us. I, he's a super villain. <laughs> I don't know. He's a, He's got superpowers. That's all I'm going to say. So he's an, anomal an anomaly to the most, most of the general public. Now, the other thing is, is that you see all these videos of people talking about, how do I read faster? How do I read faster? It's not reading faster. It's just taking the time. Get off your phone. You know, like if you're spending an hour a day mindlessly scrolling through TikTok or Instagram or whatever, that's an hour you could be reading. So at the end of the day, when you're like, oh, you know, I, I really want to read more and I've only read two books this week. You know, I just don't have the time to read more. I guarantee you, you have the time. Because a lot of people, I, I was at the hospital this morning, okay? I'm sitting in the waiting room and I was waiting for about 20 minutes and I knew I was gonna be waiting because that's what you do when you go to the doctors. And every other person was on their phone, playing Candy Crush, scrolling through Instagram. I could see them, you know what I mean? Like maybe there was one other person reading off their phone, which was great. I had my freaking Kindle. I was actually, so there was 20 minutes of uninterrupted reading time that I had this morning. And not everybody will do that. And that's me, and I think that that is a lot of people, that that's what they choose to do with their time. And that's what allows some people to get through books a lot fast. Not, it might seem faster. Like I've had people comment on my videos if I finish five books in a week. They're like, how did you read five books this week? because I made the time to do it. It's, I used to get this a lot when I was doing the knitting stuff. Like when I, sorry about the light coming in and out, obviously. When I would be doing like knitting stuff and people would be like, oh, I really wish I could learn how to knit. Oh, it's so, you can, you just need to take the time. And I've had people, oh, you're so like, that's so great. That's, you're so, I've heard people use the word clever when it comes to like being able to knit stuff. Thank you, but I'm self-taught. It's something I wanted to learn, so I took the time to do it. And I think that's the same thing with reading. The only way you're going to get through more books is by actually reading them. There's no magic trick. There's absolutely no, you know, magic. Even if you listen to audiobooks at a fast clip, I, in 20, I was looking back at my stats um, yesterday on Goodreads, and um, like I, I tag my books by year that I finished them. And in 2019 was my best reading year I've ever had. And I think I finished somewhere in the realm of 300 books. That was the year of the audiobook for me, you guys. But I can tell you, and this upsets me because I was trying to keep up with the Joneses. So I am learning from what I did before. And I'm looking at a lot of those books and I don't remember reading them, you guys. I don't freaking remember reading them. That's a problem. Like, yeah, you can read six or 700 books in a year, unless you're Steve Donahue, are you gonna remember that you read them? Probably not, depending on how quickly you're getting through them. And, you know, it's just, ooh, ambulance. Okay, hold on. Always, always pull over for ambulances, my friends. I always say, you never know if that's gonna be a member of your family or yourself in the ambulance. 
Uh, now you turn off your lights. Oh no, the lights are still on. Anyway, so yeah. Um, the amount of people who do not pull over for ambulances infuriates me, infuriates me. So, you know, like I said, there's no magic trick to being able to read faster. It's just being able to read more. If you want to read more books, you need to take the time to read more books. So this year in 2023, I really wanted to bring it back to simpler. That was kind of my, my word for, you know, a lot of people have like their buzzword for the year. And for me, it was like simple. Like I wanted to go back to what reading was pre-booktube for me when I wasn't reading for the numbers, when I'm not reading for, you know, whatever. And yeah, I do do my stats every month. I enjoy doing them because I'm a stats nerd and I think that that's a lot of fun. But, you know, I've been averaging 14, 15 books a month. I think that's pretty gosh darn good. That's, that's really good to be honest. And originally I was going to, one of my goals for 2023, I, you know, I really want to focus on the new release Harlequins and like I'd pick one from each line every month. My goal was to like, do a review on each of them on the channel in that month, like a full, just by itself, video review of one of the books. And I very quickly decided not to do that because that's 11 books, 11 or 12 books in a month. That's how many books I'm reading. If I put that pressure on myself, it's not gonna happen. It's the exact same reason why I got rid of, um, I almost said Goodreads, why I got rid of Neck Alley because I just, didn't want, and I brought it back. I, I tried Neck Alley again earlier this month and I, guys, the gas pedal's on the right. Um, and you know, I, I tried bringing back Neck Alley again and I just, I had it for what, two or three weeks? And I'm like, yeah, no, this isn't for me. I don't enjoy that pressure. I don't enjoy putting that pressure on myself because it makes reading no fun. And the whole point of reading is it's a hobby. It's supposed to be fun. Back, back to my knitting that, you know, when I would be knitting at the office, people would be like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. You should totally sell them. No, because the second you start doing something for profit. Now, I'm not talking about monetizing. I'm not talking about, um, you know, Patreon. When you're legitimately being paid for your craft, like if you are, um, and this is just my opinion, if your sole income or whatever is like, okay, I gotta knit this thing because I'm gonna sell it on Etsy, suddenly it's no longer a hobby, it's no longer fun. And reading should be fun. Now, I mean, Patreon and all those things, like, I, it's not for me. Um, I praise, like, good for creators who wanna do it. You do you. Um, I mean, I monetize my videos, but the one thing I do not do is part of the reason why I monetize is because now I make sure to take off the mid-roll ads because I don't like them. Are you gonna turn or are you just gonna sit there and think about it? Sorry, I feel like Lee over at Dark Roots Creation. Only less swearing. <laughs> she does some great driving vlogs, by the way. Ooh, that is a really tight turn there, friend. Um, so anyway, you know, like, and if you're so, like, you get these big booktubers who you can clearly tell this became their source of income. Like, you think about the older, or the YA booktubers from way back in the day, the original booktubers, right? Like, they made a ton of money, I'm sure. But, um, you know, that was their income. And to me, if you make it work, it no longer becomes fun because work is work. This is my hobby, right? So I'm sorry, guys. I have been all over the map in this video and I know that, but I just kind of wanted to give my own, like I said, my own two cents in the conversation, whatever that's worth. Now, we don't have pennies here in Canada anymore, so my own nickel. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just, like I said, this is the year I was slowing down. I do still occasionally listen to audiobooks. I did listen to my audiobook a bit on my drive into the city this morning. And, you know, I got about a chapter into it. I've really decreased the speed on them so I can really enjoy them because I often listen to audio as well when I'm doing other things. I don't just sit and listen to audio. Um, I'm crafting or I'm driving or what have you. And there's something else that needs my, my, my concentration. Because of that, that's why I've slowed down the audiobooks. And I think that's what was happening back in 2018, is I might be crafting and listening to an audiobook at two and two and a half times speed. I'm missing half of what I'm listening to. Do you know what I mean? So it just, it, it, when I think back and look at those, so many of those books, I want to go back and mark them as unread because I want to read them again. Like I want to enjoy them. And you know what? So what? I'm not getting through books as quickly. So what? That that's the situation. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day because, you know, what do you want to be known for when you die? <laughs> that's what I think about. Is it like, 
oh my God, she read like a thousand books a year or that you were a good person and that you did good things and you had a lot of fun in your life and you read some great books. Like you were an avid reader. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's makes more sense. It's like not who, you know, he who dies with the most, you know, toys wins. That's not the way that it goes. Right. So, you know, I'm pretty much saying that this is for like people who are on booktube, people who are thinking about joining booktube, that, that if that is what you want to do, that's great, but don't feel the pressure to try and read a ton of books because guys, it's legitimately not worth it. Um, it's undue stress that you do not need and reading is a hobby. It's enjoyment. And that's the most important thing is at the end of the day, enjoy what you're doing. And guys, I literally finished this video as I pulled in my driveway. So kudos to me. I'm going to go in, get logged on to work, get this video edited and uploaded. I hope it wasn't too, too rambly. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below your thoughts and, uh, until my next video, everybody take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys. Thank you.